Hello everybody! I am super excited to bring you today's video where I'm going to show you how to keep track of your contacts within Trello. And what I mean by this is not just keep track of who is who, but get reminders about when to contact them. So I got the idea for this because someone was asking recently, like they thought it would be really cool if there was an app that could they could set their contacts in and say, here's how often I want to keep up with them and then get reminders to do that on that basis. And maybe something like that exists, but it made me think of, wouldn't that be cool? Should be pretty easy to do in Trello. And so I actually created a version of this and I'm sharing it with you all and giving you some ideas of how you can upload it. So basically we've got this board set up and anytime you want, you create a new contact, we will call it, um, Oh, I had one for Melman. And you just specify the frequency in this custom field so I could say like weekly. And then it'll automatically queue him up into the the list. There's list for daily, weekly, monthly. You could add quarterly, whatever you want here. But you so you add a new contact, they're automatically put in that sort of group. And then there's your queue for today. And the way that works is that every day I've got some rules set up in here. I'll just go actually take a look at them. Uh, calendar do do enabled so every day it's going to move all of the cards in the list daily into your queue for the day because obviously if there's anybody you want to talk to daily that needs to be in your daily queue and then it's going to pick one randomly selected card from the weekly list aka you know you've got five people in there you want to contact each week it's going to randomly pick one and drag that over to your queue for today and then it's going to randomly grab someone from your monthly list so that way you can you know keep working through those different frequencies and you can customize these rules and play around with a little bit if you're like oh, i only you know have four people that i want to contact monthly so once a week i want you to actually grab somebody from monthly however you want to do that that's what i've got for every day basically queuing up reminders of people for you to talk to so we'll come back to these other rules but after you talk to somebody you can go inside of here and you can check off, there's two buttons here for action. So you can, let's say mom comes up today, you can say you contacted. And if you click that, it's going to move the card over to this list called recently chatted with. It's going to update this custom field showing the last contacted. So you can see, oh, like here's when I last talked to her. And then it's going to leave her over in this list until her period has ended. So for instance, mom is daily, so it's actually going to, at the end of the day, jump back over. I'll show you that rule in a second. But the reason is it keeps all of these people that you've contacted with over into that recently chatted list so that the next morning when it wants to queue up cards, it's grabbing from someone else for the week that you haven't already talked to. And then at the end of the week, it's going to clean out this list and bring it back over. You can see that with, let's go to my other calendar rules in here. Every day, basically at the end of the day, it's going to move any card with the green everyday label back to daily. And then at the end of the week, it's going to move all the weekly people back into weekly. And then at the end of the month, it's going to move everyone back into monthly. So you can basically see it's just resetting at the end of the month to move everybody back in the queue. And one other button I created on here is the snooze button. And so let's say somebody comes into your queue, maybe you know they're at a conference or something and you just know you're not going to chat with them today or this week or something. You can just hit the snooze button and it's going to move them back to the list, but not mark them as contacted. So for instance, this is really helpful if, let's say, you know, I know Levi's monthly, uh, he's got something going on, um, I'm going to snooze it. And it's going to read whatever is in that custom field value for frequency and then shoot them back to the correct list. So that way, they're basically back in the queue. They could come back tomorrow. Um, if you wanted to make an advanced version of this, you could probably set some delays or something. But yeah, and so then, yeah, tomorrow you'll just come back and there will be a new queue of people for you to talk to. So I laid out all of the explanation of what I just said here. So it says, you know, add a new contact, set the custom field with the frequency. And then when you talk to someone, you press contacted. You could also just leave them in the queue if you don't want to contact them that day and they'll just kind of sit there and that might be more useful if you're like, uh, I didn't get to it today, maybe I want to get to it tomorrow. Whereas snooze could be more useful if it's like, I know that's not going to happen this week. And so, yeah, you can do all of those things every day. It kind of sorts itself out. And I have some ideas if you want to up-level this board. So I didn't implement these yet, but you easily could. Adding automations with Zapier so that you fill out a Google form or, you know, just do different things to add new contacts in here. Uh, you could create a custom field that stores their phone number or their email address. And if you're using email address, then you could use SendBoard or other uh, automations to kick off that email and start the conversation. Um, that could be kind of fun. And you could also set up some reminders so that you get a reminder every day when, you know, 
don't forget to call mom today. Basically, you know, you set up a reminder like every hour until you do it or something like that. So hope this gives you some ideas. If you'd like to see anything else in here and you're like, I don't know exactly how to implement any of those things you just said, um, don't worry. I'll happily do my best to try to explain it to you. And you will need to set up these rules. So I'm going to make this template and you will need to copy in these rules. So don't worry. I'm going to include screenshots of these on the template so you know what to set up. But unfortunately, it's just not a great way that I can say, hey, click here and activate these rules. But hopefully they made sense the way I walked you through them. And I'm going to have literally the exact recipe for what you need here. So you'll be able to, assuming you're using this template, use the exact same rules. But let me know if you need any help or if you get stuck on anything.